Hey, good afternoon and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Paul Taylor. I own and operate TCI Development. We're a building contracting company located in Southern California. If you've been following along, we are back out here on the ultra modern custom home build going in the Temecula wine country. The last video that I posted, we were trenching for the footings. My plumber had laid out all his uh, plumbing trenches and we were here trenching. And then I had to leave for one day. I had to drive uh, 800 miles, take my daughter back to school kicked her out in the street and then drove 800 miles back and I'm just kidding I didn't kick my daughter out in the street I kicked her out on the sidewalk and then I turned around drove 800 miles straight back 24 hour drive took a shower and came to work and my guys are here already on the first day and they have this thing formed up on the outside so today's Friday you saw we started this thing on Monday when we chalked it all out and everything did the over excavation so these guys are here now forming up all the walls on the outside. Now they're down there forming up stem walls. So we're gonna go down and check out what's happening down here. And I'll show you how they laid out strings. If you follow my uh, project on Dustin Williams, I kind of went over how to set forms, how to lay out strings and make sure you get everything nice and square. So before you guys do anything else, go down and give us a thumbs up on our video. Just do it right now. I'll wait. All right, thanks for the thumbs up. So. We're gonna go down and check out what's happening. Hit like and subscribe. Follow us on all these projects. If you wanna get into contracting or if you're gonna do some DIY, this is where you're gonna learn it from right here. So let's go down and find out what's happening. Okay, so let's go over here and check out what these guys are doing. Show you how they laid out these strings. Okay, you can see these right here. These are called batter boards. You see they have the strings nailed to them right here. You see that they put the strings about five inches above the forms, five or six inches above the forms. That way, they square everything up. You have a batter board for covering this front side. And then this one goes all the way down, covers this side, right? They run the strings so when they hammer in their stakes, right? These are your kicker stakes. You see how the strings go underneath it, right? If you look down this, they miss, the string misses all the stakes, right? That way they hammer in their stakes underneath the string. And then they set these forms right off the string. That's how you get everything nice and square, okay? This project is quite long, goes down about 185 feet. So they divided it in two. You see these strings going all the way across here. Everything is nice and square. Here's this long string going all the way down. So they basically made two squares around this house, cut one in half right across the middle, this one right here. They set these batter boards to height with a laser. Okay, so all the strings are the same. This goes all the way across, squares out this section, and then squares out that section. So you got Jose here. You probably saw him on Dustin Williams' project, forming up his garage. So Jose's here setting these forms. Over here, you got Nick and Arturo. They're checking everything with the strings. They're hammering in their kicker stakes and their upright stakes right here. These upright stakes right here, they just keep the form from settling in these footings. And then the kicker stakes keep the form nice and straight. Now what he's doing here, He's nailing the stake on here to keep these corners where it jogs right here, keeps all this nice and square. So he's squaring this all up and then he sunk three nails in here, one in this form, that form, and that form. Arturo wants to make sure all this corner stays nice and square. So that's what's happening out here today and this is how you get this done super super important that everything is always square and everything is always set to height like i said you probably saw before in the previous video i showed you some of the tools that we use we use rotary rotary lasers which you probably see it sitting down right down there and i have an altimeter if i want to get it to with within one one hundredth of an inch i use an altimeter but it is super important because the foundation is the very first thing to go down so if your foundation is not nice and flat and level and if it's out of square everything after that's out of square your walls will be out of square cabinets will be out of square pictures will hang weird on the wall so 
the most important part of any build at the very beginning is your foundation. Make sure it's always square. It's always nice and flat all the way across. So when we're done here, we will go around, check all the corners with the laser. I'll come back, check it with the altimeter, right? Make sure that everything is adequate and what we like to see. And then we will start next uh, Monday. So today's Friday. Monday, we will start hanging all the rebar in these footings. So we have all the steel that needs to go in next, okay? After steel is a hold downs, and we'll cover that. You probably saw that in a previous video. All the hold downs, because we are an earthquake state, so you have massive hold downs that go in here that keep this thing, all this framing, bolted to the foundation, right? And then these massive footings keep it connected to the ground. So we don't want things falling around, falling down out here. So if this was Florida, or if this was somewhere in the Panhandle or Oklahoma or any of those states, it doesn't really matter what you do because your house is gonna end up in another county anyway when that tornado comes through. So unfortunately, that's what happens over there. But we are an earthquake state. We gotta keep things from falling down. This is a requirement here. So we're gonna cover steel next. These guys are gonna finish. They have a lot of forms and stuff they have to set out here in the center. We will cover all the steel when it goes in next. Also, Monday or Tuesday, my plumber Matt, this is all scheduling now. So my plumber Matt will be here on Tuesday. He will start setting all of his underground plumbing. So you wanna make sure you're scheduling everybody accordingly. So we have our steel guys scheduled to come out on Monday and start setting steel. Okay, but before they set steel out here in these footings, Matt will be here setting his underground plumbing. Okay, also, we're scheduling our electrician to come out because this house is going to have some islands in the kitchen and areas where electrical is going to be out in the floor. So we will run conduit from where the panel room is, our utility room. We will run electrical conduit on the ground and bring it up in the proper location where you're going to have kitchen islands and all that. So. All this requires scheduling, proper scheduling. You don't want guys working on top of each other if they don't have to be. So next up will be Matt. Then it'll be guys hanging steel. Then the electrician come in and do all of his electrical. And then these guys can put all the rebar and structural steel out here in the pad. So that's what's happening out here today. Going to get a lot done on this project. Got to really move on this thing next week and get all the steel in here because right now the weather's really nice and dry and we don't want to run into any rainy problems like we had a couple weeks ago. So that's it. That's what's happening. Let's go over here and talk to Jose and find out what is the most important part about setting these forms. Okay, Jose, looks really good. So what's the most important part about setting these forms? Make sure that the house is square. Make sure that the house is square. So I just talked about this a moment ago. And then after you make sure it's square, you wanna make sure what else? You wanna make sure your elevations are all correct. Make That's sure right. everything's set to the same height. That's it. You heard it from the professional right here. So make sure it's square, first of all. Make sure elevations are all correct. So that's how you do it. You want your house and you want your other trades to not hate you, okay? Because trust me, your walls are all out of square and then the cabinets aren't square against the wall and then the owner gets upset. You don't want any of that. So do it right the first time. Okay, that's it for today. Thanks for following the project. And like I said before, if you wanna get into contracting, or if you're going to do some DIY or you're going to have a project built for you, watch these projects. You'll see how to do it the right way. Okay. We take over a lot of projects. We had one last year, had over a million dollars damage and it was very unfortunate for the people and it was a sad situation. We fixed the project and moved on, but yeah, they, uh, the wrong people got hired to do that project and it ended up costing about a million dollars to, to fix it. So follow us on this project and don't forget, I do it all the time. I forget to give people a like on their videos. I have to go back and do it. So go ahead and give us a like on our video if you like the video. Follow us on our project. Hit subscribe. And hopefully you guys can learn something by watching this project. That'll help you with your project. Have an outstanding day.